this. He's just like a giant earthworm. Dude. White eyes. Look I don't that. think he sees much. He looks like a worm. He actually can kill you if you get bit by it. And you have a long lasting erection. So you would not want to take a bite from one of these guys. It's not a party time. Ooh. This is my first time ever finding this species. This is a red striped thirst snake. <laughs> right here in the thick of it. Let's go. All right, gotta make sure I don't hang out next to this high ground too much because a jaguar is gonna take advantage of me. I don't, I don't like being taken advantage of. people just woke up day two in Costa Rica and it's a beautiful day what is going on man yeah baby let's go let's go look at this oh my god look at this right here at the back door man why is this locked I don't know man who locked this man. safest come place on. on the mountain I'm going to lock this Oh, oh, it has a key. Why isn't there a little thing right here? Trying the keys? To, try to, where are the keys, man? I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a, a, a scenic oh, video, oh. man. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. Look how foggy it is. It's raining. Let me put the big camera on so you guys can see better. Look at this. Welcome to Costa Rica. One of the most peaceful, beautiful places on the planet. Beyond the fog, out there, there's a lagoon. Beyond that, there's a giant volcano, and it's sister volcano right next to it. Beyond that, there's just more trees. And then beyond that, there's, oh. a, there's a cat. Oh, what's that? Little squirrel. Where, where, where? See him? Hey, buddy. Ski! Thanks. <laughs> <Let's do it. laughs> Whoa. Welcome to the jungle, buddy. Can you identify that bird? Comment below, what is that? Uh, yeah. Forest it's turkey. Right there. Oh. Go on to Costa Rica, trying to find a free go. What you know about me? Uh, trying to go to the jungle, trying to blow. What you know? Got a bullet in my bro. Uh, gonna bust my feet. Trying to look a little bit clean. Don't feel as much about me. Hanging out with my team, uh, uh, down to Costa Rica, oh, hit it, brother, hit the flat, try to get through, like I'm trying to take a nap, try to have my night. <laughs> Listen, buddy, you better get your act together, because if you're going to find the biggest fertilance you ever found in your goddamn career of snake cutting, you better get your eyes checked out, buddy, because you can't see shit. I need to get LASIK surgery. Comment below. Where's the best place to get LASIK surgery in South Florida? Because my eyes are jacked, and I need my eyes to see snakes. Stone, how bad are my eyes? Um, not seeing the crawl snake bad. Yeah, I mean, like I saw, I saw the earth snake, and that was tiny. Like I, I can see a tinier snake, but I couldn't see like the brightest snake in Costa Rica. So, recommend a good place to get my eyeballs fixed, please. Woo! Woo! Wake up and smell the lipstick paw. We are in Costa Rica. Let's go. Get some breakfast at the Red Frog Cafe and get some banana pancakes. And how am I gonna get to the car with this water in my way? No way, not gonna get wet. Ah. Love this place, look how beautiful it is. Costa Rica. What a vibe. What a vibe. Land of the wet leaf. <laughs> Land of the wet leaf. Got a towel. Boys, girls, 
stay at home dads. This is what it's all about. Getting out once in a while and getting some banana pancakes in Costa Rica. This will bring life back to your soul after working nonstop for two years. This, this will replenish your good vibes. Take a bite. Take a bite. Let, let's get a reaction. Take, take your first bite. Oh, decent, fresh. Got a pancake. Or truck. All right, no fourth. Oh, how's that, bro? Amazing, amazing. So good. My favorite place in Costa Rica, Red Frog Cafe. Come check it out if you're in La Fortuna. Try to get out of town once in a while. This water's so warm. Let me taste it. I can taste everything this community's been drinking. A healthy community. <laughs> Donkey, you're a little scared of heights, donkey. You're a little scared, donkey. Oh my God, this whole bridge is gonna break right now. <laughs> yeah, we should probably get off this whole bridge. thing right now. Want to find an American crocodile this way? When traveling in Costa Rica, always wear proper footwear because of venomous reptiles all over the place. Oh crap! Be careful where you tread. Remember, the most venomous snake is the one you just got bit by. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's a hitchhiker on the side of the road. Let's see if he needs some help. Hey buddy, you need a ride? Yeah, man, I've been out here all bag on day. Where you from? West Palm Beach. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> oh, oh shit! Guys, check this out. We're driving all the way over back to our hotel, our little bungalow. We've got this gorgeous boy hanging out. Hey, buddy. Oh, don't chase me now. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't chase me for food. These guys usually get fed by people, and like raccoons in America, they get so used to people that'll walk right up to you. So look at him. He's just chilling. What's up, dude? Little Quata Mundi. It's basically your South American raccoon. Just gotta make sure he doesn't try to attack me right now. What's up, dude? How you doing? Obviously be very careful. These guys have a nasty bite. You don't want to take too much of a risk to get too close, but obviously it's a wildlife with me. We're gonna get close to everything. I've been attacked before, it's not fun. Dude, have you been charged? <laughs> yeah. Look at him, look at him. He comes straight up to the cars, no problem. He's been fed by people, and just like in America with the raccoons, they become very cheeky, very cocky, and they'll go right up to you. Even if you leave the car door open, they try to go inside. You know, even though he's small and fuzzy, he could still cause a lot of damage. He's got big canines and a nasty bite. These guys were scratching. He's chasing her around the car. <laughs> Look, just chasing her around the car. You're, you're causing trouble. You're causing trouble. Let's go. Let's go. Off the road. You're going to get hurt. Back in Stay, the bush. Back in the bush. You're done. You're done. You're done. Get out of here. <laughs> See, the problem is you can't feed wildlife. Even if you're traveling to a new country, you're not going to come back. It doesn't matter. You got to make it safe for the animal. If you feed wildlife, you're putting them at risk. This guy could get hit by a car thinking he's about to get a snack. Walking up to a car that's moving and get smashed. So it's always good to respect the wildlife, give them their distance. Don't feed the animals, whether it's a quadamundi, a crocodile, or a sloth. You want to leave the animals wild. What do you guys think? Uh, I think you're 100% uh, right. Watch this, he follows me, thinking I'm going to give him a snack. Hey, see like He thinks maybe, I'm going to give him a snack. He's, maybe he's in one of the parks, maybe he ran away from one of the... No, this oh, is, they're everywhere. They're this wild. could happen with Quatamundi, a monkey, a crocodile. The second you start feeding them, it's like they're a domesticated animal, but they're still wild. And if you don't have what he wants and he throws a fit, he might attack you. Look at the way he's looking at me right now. Yeah. He's upset I didn't give him a cracker. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. All right, beautiful people. Let's go find some snakes. Have a good one, guys. Buena vida. Oh, I didn't see you there. 
welcome back to my wildlife. It's time to go see what the jungle has to offer tonight. Yeah. How'd you get over here? Oh, you just walked over the road. Yeah. Okay, okay. I see what we're doing. We're out here in the jungle looking for snakes. You see this? This is prime habitat to find amphibians and reptiles. So come with me and let's see what we can find in the coast. Oh, looks like uh, we have our first uh, challenge of the jungle, the river. Let's see if I can get across it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> You Ex made it! Executed smoothly. Come on, brother, I'll grab your hand. Look at this, guys. All these little leaf cutter ants. I wonder what will happen if I put my hand in the way. They're just gonna be like, woo. Oh, that one looks big. Yeah, yeah, he wants to square up, <laughs> bro. Put your hand back down. <laughs> I don't want the smoke, bro. So this is really good for Bushmasters in the Central and South American jungles. The buttresses of these trees. These big openings at the bottom, great little hiding spot for not just bushmasters, but also jumping pit vipers, fertile ants. So you never know what's gonna be hiding in the buttress of a tree. What's that? Oh, it's nothing to say. Ah, look at the buttress on this one. Isn't she a beauty? Let's have a look and see what she's got for us. She got a dunk. Damn. Damn, girl, look at the buttress on you. Are you hiding any fertile answers? Any bushmasters? Hello? Any bushmasters in here? Ah, another river. What are we gonna do? We're gonna jump across. Oh! 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 oh. All right. Flashlight. LeBron. Oh! 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 Shaq. Bro, I know I said it was too deep, but all I gotta say is full sin, brother. Full sin. Right here in the thick of it. Let's go. I'm deep in a ravine and I'm losing blood fast. I've gotta get to lower ground. Nothing the mullet can't hit. Oh, it's so pretty out here. Hear the sounds of the birds? Back to crawling. Through the rapids we go. I've been to the jungle. What do you know? Try to find a further lance. Let that baby teach me how to dance. There's more rapids. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. Oh, that... That looks strong. That looks very strong. <laughs> All on Z, as the French would say. All right, gotta make sure I don't hang out next to this high ground too much because a jaguar is gonna take advantage of me. I don't, I don't like being taken advantage of. Just like in Jurassic Park, follow the river to the coast and the, the army will find you, right? <laughs> don't listen to me, kids. Oh, there he is, I knew I, I knew I knew what I was talking about. Hey, brother, did you miss me? Did he even know I was gone? <laughs> yeah, I heard you. Guys, look at this. This is my first time ever finding this species. This is a red striped thirst snake. I've never seen one of these in the wild of Costa Rica before. This beautiful little snake is just a baby and it's actually a type of snail eater. This guy's a specialist in eating little snails and slugs. He's got a beautiful blunt head. Common to all the snail eaters out here. Look how cute he is. So he's called the red striped thirst snake. He has a light, light red striping going down his spine and a beautiful black and white striping. It reminds me of like an Indian crate. So this guy is basically a non-venomous snake, nothing to worry about. So look at him, he's just a little tiny baby. They can get about like 10 times bigger than this real long, skinny, slender snake. And what's happening right now is it rained, it was hot all day, and then it rained, and the rain stopped. So now all the snails, slugs, frogs are all moving around, which means all the snakes are gonna be active moving. So just about an hour or two after sunset, and all the life starts to start crawling around and whatnot. We got snakes, frogs, owls, everything. The whole food chain's out here. So let's see what other species of snake we can find tonight. Look how cute he is. Isn't that such a pretty snake? The jungles of Costa Rica have so much to offer. We're gonna put him right over here. 
and let him go on his way. There you go, buddy. Wow, what a beautiful snake. Guys, check this out. The stone just spotted this massive spider from the road as we're shining into the trees for snakes. And I believe this is what's called a wandering spider. And if I'm right, the wandering spider is actually a species of spider that actually can kill you if you get bit by it. And you have a long lasting erection if you're a male. So you have a hard, rock hard erection. And it doesn't go away and it ends with a violent, unsettling death from the venom of the spider. So you would not want to take a bite from one of these guys. It's not a party time. Whoop. <laughs> Bro, he jumped. Oh, so the spider that will kill you and also gives you a deadly, deadly erection, it jumped. It almost jumped on us, uh, specifically Stone. I don't know where he went. <laughs> dude, I don't know where he went, but I, I think we should just keep on slithering, right, Stone? Yeah, let's get out of here, dude. Let's get out of here. He's probably in my hair. Oh, man, let me check your hair, actually. <laughs> No, he's not in the mullet. <laughs> Alright. So that was the wandering spider. <laughs> Dangerous. Let's get out of here. Guys, look at this little baby clouded snail eater we just found. I've never found one this small. Look, it's just hiding under a little leaf. What's up, little baby? Oh, look how cute it is. Oh, they are so pretty. Look at that cute little eye. Just a fragile little baby out here in the jungle looking for a snail or a slug to eat. Oh, hey, little baby. You ready to go? Go on your way. All right, let's go find a fur lance. Beautiful people come out. Look at what we just discovered. We just found ourselves a gorgeous blunt-headed tree snake. This is an extremely slender snake that lives up in the trees and loves to eat amphibians and slugs and snails. And now that it's been raining, this beautiful little snake is on the hunt trying to find the snails, slugs, and frogs moving around. These guys love to eat things like frog eggs that are stuck at the bottom of the leaves. They'll come up and slurp all of them up like it's nothing. They're such a beautiful, cute, little slender snake, and they're harmless to people. But remember, don't go up to any snakes in the jungle you don't know about and start picking up snakes. We're wildlife experts. We know what we've been doing. We've been doing this for a long time, and Costa Rica is a familiar place. This is the beautiful, blunt-headed tree snake. I'm going to give him a little, a little kiss, and I'm going to pull him right back where he was going. Uh, I'll see you on, on the next adventure, my, my beautiful son. Stay passionate. Snakes. Guys, look at this. Not a snake, but actually some sort of legless amphibian. Check this out. I believe this is called a Sicilian. This is actually a legless amphibian. I wanna make sure he doesn't bite me, but check this out. He's actually a legless amphibian, basically like a salamander with, ooh, with no legs. He does have jaws, and these guys will eat things like earthworms, and they actually look like a giant earthworm. Look at this. And he has, I think he, I'm not sure. Does he have eyes? Like, I think he has very tiny very, white eyes. Yeah. Look I don't that. think he sees much. He looks like a worm. This is so crazy. I've never, woo, 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 woo. I've never found one of these in my life. Woo, woo. And he's coming out because he's an amphibian. It's raining right now and it's good for his, woo, his skin so he doesn't dry out. This is the perfect time to move around and find a new burrow, new hunting grounds. Look for earthworms coming out. Look at this. He's just like a giant earthworm. This is crazy. But this is an amphibian related to frogs and salamanders. Woo Newts, all kinds of cool stuff. Look at that. Out here in the Costa Rican rainforest. Let's let them go into the grass. Woo! So slimy. Crazy. All right, beautiful people. Stone and I are heading back to Florida. It's time to go home. Nice little four-day trip looking for snakes. I think it was a good trip, man. It we found coral trip. snakes. We found blunt-headed tree snakes. Earth found snakes. the thirst snake. Because it's so thirsty. Good time. Puro Vida, my friends, subscribe, put the alert on so you guys are always getting notified for my wildlife, and also check out Stone's World, subscribe, subscribe, I will see you on the next one, stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your passion in life, stay beautiful, I love you guys. We're so close, literally about to get on the plane, and Stone's being searched right now, because he's a Miami boy, look at him, right, right there, he's getting all the stuff searched for the second time. Adios mio. Come on, man, we're... Come on, Stone. He, he's too much of a Florida man. They don't trust him. Goodbye, Costa Rica. I love you, Mr. Sloth, Mr. Toucan.
Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You need to stop looking like such a Florida man. I'm the last person on this planet. Bro, I've been searched three times already. I haven't gotten searched once. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. Back to Florida. Back to America. Back to my big old bear dog, Bear. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful. Subscribe. Love y'all. Follow your dreams. Stay passionate.